The southern tip of Africa is a remarkably beautiful place, known for its stunning landscapes and rich biodiversity. With even more amazing plant and animal life, this region is a true haven for nature enthusiasts and scientists alike. Here, we find the Cape Floral Region, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and one of Earth's most valuable natural treasures. This designation highlights its global importance and the need to preserve its unique biodiversity. This area, though small compared to the whole African continent, is a wonderland of plants, many found nowhere else. Its compact size belies the incredible diversity it holds within. What makes the Cape Floral region so special is its huge number of unique species. Over 9,000 plant species thrive here, with nearly 70% being endemic, meaning they exist only in this part of the world. Imagine a garden where almost every flower, shrub, and tree shows nature's creativity. Each plant is a testament to the evolutionary processes that have shaped this region over millennia. That's what this place is like, a living canvas painted with the vibrant hues of countless blooms. Towering mountains, wide valleys, and windy coastlines create lots of different homes for plants, each with its own special collection. These varied landscapes provide microhabitats that support a wide range of species. At the center of this plant paradise is a unique type of vegetation called finbos. This distinctive shrubland is characterized by its fine-leaved plants and remarkable resilience. Finbos has fine-leaved shrubs and is adapted to the area's Mediterranean climate. This adaptation allows it to thrive in conditions that might be challenging for other plant types. It shows how nature can survive in tough environments, demonstrating the incredible adaptability of life. In these Finbos landscapes we find the stars of the Cape Floral region, Proteas, Ericas and Restios. These plants are not only beautiful but also play crucial roles in their ecosystems. Their detailed flowers and bright colors make the landscape vibrant, attracting many pollinators like birds and insects. This interaction is vital for the reproduction of these plants and the health of the ecosystem. The Cape Floral region is full of life, a dynamic and vibrant ecosystem, where plants and animals have grown together, creating a delicate ecosystem that has fascinated botanists and nature lovers for centuries. This symbiotic relationship highlights the interconnectedness of all life forms. The Cape Floral region continues to be a source of inspiration and discovery, drawing botanists and nature lovers from around the world to explore its wonders and uncover its secrets. Finbos, meaning fine bush in Dutch, is more than just plants. It's an ecosystem shaped by fire and drought. This unique biome, found only in the southwestern and southern parts of South Africa, is one of the richest areas of plant biodiversity in the world. The soil here isn't very good, but Finbos thrives, its roots digging deep to find food. These plants have evolved to extract nutrients from the nutrient-poor, sandy soils, showcasing their incredible resilience. This ancient vegetation has learned to survive and even flourish in tough conditions. Whether it's the scorching summer heat or the cold, wet winters, Finbos plants are always adapting. Regular fires are a natural part of Finbos. These fires, often sparked by lightning, play a crucial role in the life cycle of the plants. They clear old plants and make room for new ones. The ash from the fires enriches the soil, providing a fertile ground for new growth. Many Finbos plants have seeds that wait for the heat of a fire to start growing. This adaptation ensures that new plants have the best chance to thrive in the freshly cleared and nutrient-rich environment. After a fire, the Finbos explodes with color, showing how nature can regenerate. The landscape transforms into a vibrant tapestry of flowers, attracting pollinators and supporting a diverse range of wildlife. The variety of Finbos is amazing. With over 9,000 species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth, this region is a botanical treasure trove. You can find all sorts of plants, from the famous proteas with their big showy flowers, which are a symbol of South Africa, to the delicate ericas, whose tiny bell-shaped flowers are loved by nectar-feeding birds. These plants play a vital role in the ecosystem, providing food and habitat for many species. Restios, with their wiry stems, are also important, providing homes for insects and small animals. These grasses are a key component of the finbos, contributing to its unique structure and function. Finbos plants are masters of adaptation, 
They have developed a range of strategies to cope with the challenging environment. Some have thick leaves to save water, reducing evaporation and conserving moisture during dry periods, while others work with fungi to get nutrients from the poor soil. This symbiotic relationship helps them access essential minerals and thrive in otherwise inhospitable conditions. Finbos shows the power of evolution and how all living things are connected. This remarkable ecosystem is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of nature. Table Mountain, overlooking Cape Town, is a famous landmark. This iconic mountain is not just a backdrop to the city, but a symbol of natural beauty and resilience. Its flat-topped summit is often shrouded in a blanket of clouds, creating a mystical and ever-changing landscape that captivates both locals and visitors alike. The mountain is part of the Cape Floral region, which is renowned for its incredible biodiversity. This region is one of the richest areas for plants in the world, showcasing a variety of species that are found nowhere else on Earth. This flat-topped mountain, often covered in clouds, has over 2,200 plant species, more than the entire United Kingdom. The diversity of flora here is truly astounding, with each species playing a unique role in the ecosystem. This is partly because the mountain's different slopes and heights create many microclimates and habitats. These microclimates range from moist, shaded ravines to dry, sun-baked slopes, each supporting different types of vegetation. From windy slopes to sheltered ravines, Table Mountain is home to many plants. The variety of environments means that plants have adapted in fascinating ways to survive and thrive. The red disa, a beautiful orchid, grows in damp cracks, adding a splash of color to the rocky landscape. This delicate flower is a testament to the mountain's unique and varied habitats. And the silver tree, with its shiny leaves, has adapted to the strong coastal winds. This tree is a striking example of how plants can evolve to meet the challenges of their environment. Hiking on Table Mountain is like walking through a botanical garden, with new and interesting plants everywhere. Each trail offers a different experience, revealing the mountain's botanical treasures at every turn. The mountain's geology is also important. Its sandstone formations are not only visually stunning but also play a crucial role in the ecosystem. Made of sandstone, it soaks up rainwater like a sponge, creating springs that support special plants. These springs are lifelines for many species, providing essential water in an otherwise dry environment. These water sources also attract animals like baboons, dassies, and birds, making Table Mountain a biodiversity hotspot. The presence of these animals adds another layer of richness to the mountain's ecosystem. As part of Table Mountain National Park, this landmark shows how important it is to protect the Cape Floral region's natural heritage. Conservation efforts are crucial to preserving this unique environment for future generations. People from all over the world come to see its beauty, drawn by the promise of breathtaking views and the chance to experience a natural wonder. And for people in Cape Town, it's a reminder of the natural wonders around them. The mountain stands as a constant presence, inspiring awe and appreciation in all who see it. North of Cape Town is the Cedarburg Wilderness Area, a place of rugged beauty and ancient wonder. Towering sandstone cliffs rise from the dry landscape. The Cedarburg is a place where nature's power has created stark beauty. This wild region has unique finbos species adapted to the dry conditions. The Clan William Cedar, a rare tree, stands like a guard from the past. Some of these trees are over a thousand years old, showing how life can survive in tough environments. Besides plants, the Cedarburg has a rich cultural history. The San people, one of the oldest cultures, lived here and left rock art showing their beliefs and way of life. These ancient paintings found in caves show a deep connection to nature. Today, the Cedarburg wilderness area is a place for people who want quiet and a connection with nature. Hikers can explore its trails, admire the rock formations, and see how life survives in this ancient landscape. The Sederberg reminds us that true wilderness still exists and we must protect it. Protecting the Cape Floral region isn't just about conservation, it's about the future. This region is full of unique plants found nowhere else, but it faces threats like climate change and development. People are working hard to protect it. Conservationists are restoring habitats, controlling invasive species, 
and promoting sustainable practices. It's a race against time, but with dedication and teamwork, there's hope. Everything helps, from planting native trees to supporting local conservation. We all have a part to play in protecting this special place. Together, we can make sure it thrives for future generations. So let's appreciate this natural gem and protect it. The future of this amazing ecosystem depends on us. Invasive species are a big problem for the Cape Floral region. These non-native plants and animals can outcompete local species, messing up the balance of this unique ecosystem. It's a constant fight to protect the native plants and animals from these invaders. Finbos has both friends and foes. Helpful species like some insects and birds are important for pollination and spreading seeds. But there are also threats, like invasive plants and animals, that can hurt this fragile environment. It's a delicate balance. The Cape Floral region isn't just about biology, it's about culture too. Indigenous people have lived here for centuries, using its resources carefully. Their knowledge and traditions are connected to nature, creating a unique mix of culture and nature. Saving the Cape Floral region needs a lot of different actions. Conservation, habitat restoration, and community involvement are all important. By working together, we can ensure this paradise stays healthy and vibrant for generations to come. It's our shared responsibility, and everything we do matters.